Come back proud Canadians to be before you had TV. No hockey night in Canada. There was no CBC. In 1812, Madison was mad. He was the president, you know. He thought he'd tell the British where they ought to go. He thought he'd invade Canada. He thought that he was tough. Instead, we went to Washington and burned down all his stuff in the White House. Burned, 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 and we're the ones that did it. Burned, 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 and the Americans ran and cried. Burned, 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 and things were very historical. Americans ran and cried like a bunch of little babies. Wah, 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 in the War of 1812. Okay, I'm not going to continue going, but if you want to look that up, that was uh, the Arrogant Worms War of 1812. Um, uh, sometimes you will find it under Three Dead Trolls in a Baggie, which is a, another Canadian folk comedy group that oftentimes they're mistaken for each other. Um, one of them does like uh, The Last Pirate of Saskatchewan and the Birthday Song and stuff like that, and the other one does things like... Uh, um, Canada's really big, and yeah, they both they both do a lot of really awesome songs. But uh, finding them, you'll probably find each of their songs under each of the names because most people don't know who they are. Anyway, today we are drinking a beer that was sent to me from Nicholas. Thank you, Nicholas Pickles, from Maxwell Stars Top Ten. Nick sent me this beer from Brew Dog. It's the Jackhammer Ruthless IPA. The Jackhammer Ruthless IPA. It is 7.2% alcohol by volume. I love this uh, this bottle because like Brewdog is raised on here, so is Jackhammer, so is the Ruthless IPA. I mean, if I was blind, I probably still wouldn't be able to read it because I'd be taught how to read Braille, not uh, actual letters. But... <laughs> <laughs> if I if I had started as somebody that could write and then I went blind, I could figure out what this was. I'm not very good at Braille. I, I know some of the letters, not all of them. Again, 7.2% alcohol by volume. Um, says it's best before June 26th, 2016. So we're long above that. We have a bunch of different languages on here. Um, yeah, brew dog. Some people love them, some people hate them, some people think they're dicks, some people think they're awesome. Uh, everybody's different. I think, uh, it's awesome to get a chance to try one of their beers because I think, uh, I've had an Isle of Aaron sent to me by, uh, the Urban Viking. And I've been able to get the. The Punk IPA here, and I think I've had one or two others, and that's it uh, out of their lineup. So it's great to uh, get the ability to try something else. It makes sense that it would hit the Maritimes because it would be sent across that ocean to hit the Maritimes first. So that makes sense. Uh, ooh, that's hazier than I expected. I personally like unfiltered beers. I know a lot of people like filtered. I know a lot of people like fully unfiltered. Uh, it doesn't matter to me whether it just has a little bit of haze. Or anything. I'd like to see just a little bit of haze. I know that there st should still be some vitamins and stuff in there because there should still be some yeast particles and some some malt and hop particles. There should still be some nutrients in my beer. Where if it's fully if it's fully filtered, your beer's pretty much useless to you. If you're if you're one of the people that talks about oh I can get B12 and I can get this and I can get that from your beer, you could if it uh, wasn't fully filtered. I mean, you get iron from Guinness. If Guinness was uh, filtered completely instead of just filtered with, uh, well, I don't even know what's going to happen with Guinness now that they don't use anything glass. But yeah, uh, back to the beer. Let's sniff the beer. Wow! Now, don't think of what I'm saying here as a bad thing, but Nick gets behind on a lot of things. Nick will pick up a case of beer that he wants to send out to you. He'll have different things that come up. We all have it. I mean, I have it too. 
or you'll send Nick a case of beer, you'll send him a box of beer, and he'll review it year, a month down the road, sometimes even a year down the road. So you never know how, he, he's a lot like Dale. He has a lot of beer he has access to, and you wouldn't think he has access to a lot of things, but when you see some of his beer halls, he, he can find some good things, and he has some good beer in his area, and that's great for him. And that, that puts him in the same uh, aspect of Dale from Brew By Me. They, they love sharing, they love the beer trading, they love the beer, the friendships that are made with the beer, in, like the beer community and all that, and I do too. And like I said, I have the same problem as them. But when you get a beer mail from Nick, you're never 100% sure exactly how old the stuff is. Because sometimes finding stuff that he could send you that you've never had is hard. Because he does end up getting a lot of things, but some of them come in in very small quantities, some of them sat around for a while. Um... So sometimes, you know, even to get six beers you haven't had, he might have to sit on it too for like six months. So you never know how fresh anything is you're going to get now. And this thing is good until, well, it's 7.2% alcohol, so who knows how fresh this is. This could have been weeks old when he got it. This could have been months old when he got it. I don't know. But all I'm saying is there is a huge amount of fruit nodes on this for something that across the ocean sat in some some type of uh, warehouse until it got shipped to the store before it got bought by him and sat for who knows how long with him before he packaged it and took a week to get to me because uh, because Canada Post makes it sit in different places for different amounts of time for no reason other than just to fuck you but like all in all between and then it gets to me and then I sit on it for X amount of t weeks before I get to it because I have beer here to review too and I mean everything in conjunction and who knows if it was the freshest batch sent from uh, sent from Brewdog I mean everything in conjun conjunction you wouldn't expect this beer to be so fresh that I could smell so much in it because there's lots of orange there's lots of mango there's passion fruit mm. uh, honeydew Lemon, lemon, honeydew, passion fruit, mango, orange. It's 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 to die for. It really is. It's to die for. It's a beautiful fucking smelling beer. Let's try it. Cheers, boys and squirrels. And with that smell, and figuring what type of hops were in it, I expected a bitter balm and nothing else in the back of my throat because of age again. And it's nobody's fault, it's just what I expected because of the age of it and knowing how long a lot of the New World hops last in, in a beer before they start fading. This thing is exploding with flavor. Grapefruit, lemon, orange, uh, mango, pineapple. A bit of lemon peel, like lemon peel rinds, that resiny, riny oiliness, and uh, cedar on the finish. Nice malty forefront. This is a great little beer. Thank you very much, Nick, for sending this out to me. I'm extremely ecstatic to get a chance to try this. Um, and you know what? I know some people get they get all offended and all that. I'm not, what I was saying was not in any way to offend Nick, so I hope, Nick, you understand that too. And I know the troll America is going to be just like he is with with Lee and his, oh, Nick, why? And he's going to try and push this somewhere it, it shouldn't have went either. And my, my, my thing up at the front wasn't a rant or anything. It was just, uh, it was just an explanation that when you do beer mails, even if you're attempting to send something out fresh, things can happen that keep it from happening. I mean, uh, you even told me, oh, I meant to send you a beer mail, but something happened to my car. And, this, and I get that. I mean, I, I have the same luck you do, man. We, have, we both have horrible luck. And it is what it is. And that's, that's all it is to it. Uh, what I was saying, though, and I'm only doing this because, again, I know the way trolls work and I know the way our friends work and it wasn't anything like oh my god or fuck I don't like getting packages from Nick or no it was 
things can happen and you never know what is going to happen and when you have a double IPA by a brewery that normally uses big new age hops you don't know what you're going to get and I'm amazed that it is the way it is and I mean when I got this I got this package before Christmas it's now January 2nd so I've sat on the beer as well for like two or three weeks myself like it's it, it's just the way beer goes you try to get to something right away but sometimes it just doesn't happen and luckily what the hell is that is that do you still have fleas motherfucker anyway um out of, out of 10 on this beer I'm gonna give it a 7.5 I'm going to go and watch uh the new Fantastic Four movie I think and finish this off and see how that goes thank you again Nick for sending it thank you guys for watching Jackhammer Ruthless IPA from BrewDog Bye. I'm gonna pull you over so I can turn you off. You notice how that comes out, right? I'm pulling you up so you can be turned off. Because you're looking at me, so you're gonna be turned off. Because the only people that get turned on by me have a Santa fetish, and they ain't normal people. <laughs> Bye, guys.